DC fans want Charlie Fraser to succeed Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more video. Soon after James Gunn announced that the Justice League in his new DCU would be played by an entirely different cast, the fans started to speculate several names. After David Corrinswit was cast as the new Superman, the fan casting for the other members also gained hype. Gal Gadot gained widespread praise for her portrayal of Wonder Woman in the DCEU. She even had a threequel plan before it was scrapped by James Gunn. Uh, I just Despite being disappointed, the fans have been keen to know who will play the next Diana Prince. Now, it looks like people have come up with a new name who can be perfect in the role Charlie Fraser. After her film debut in 2023's Anyone But You, Charlie Fraser recently appeared as Mary Jabassa in George Miller's Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Gal Gadot was first introduced as DCU's Wonder Woman in 2016's Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. It was followed by her solo outing in 2017's Wonder Woman. She continued to garner appreciation for her role across several DCEU films before the universe came to an abrupt end with James Gunn and Peter Safran's takeover. It cannot be denied that the actress who would replace Gal Gadot has to put in a lot of effort. There were several names in the mix before the fans claimed after watching Furiosa that Charlie Fraser could be the best fit for the role. Charlie Fraser has given a commendable performance as Anya Taylor-Joy's Furiosa's Mother Mary in the George Miller directorial. Although it was only her second film, the fans think she has both the capability and looks to perfectly fit in the role of the Princess of Themyscira. The Australian actress has enjoyed a celebrated modeling career and has also been featured on Vogue Australia's cover. Many fans have taken over the internet to even claim that she looks like the Aussie version of Gal Gadot. Numerous fans believe that Zack Snyder had an incredible vision for the DCEU. Although it did not succeed, the fans never stopped to praise his visual style and the casting. A fan recently claimed that Charlie Fraser also looked as if she came out of a Zack Snyder film. Many others joined in the discussion and agreed that it could be a memorable casting if it happened. DC fans want Charlie Fraser to succeed Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more video. Soon after James Gunn announced that the Justice League in his new DCU would be played by an entirely different cast, the fans started to speculate several names. After David Corrinswit was cast as the new Superman, the fan casting for the other members also gained hype. Gal Gadot gained widespread praise for her portrayal of Wonder Woman in the DCU. She even had a threequel plan before it was scrapped by James Gunn. Despite being disappointed, the fans have been keen to know who will play the next Diana Prince. Now, it looks like people have come up with a new name who can be perfect in the role Charlie Fraser. After her film debut in 2023's Anyone But You, Charlie Fraser recently appeared as Mary Jabassa in George Miller's Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Gal Gadot was first introduced as DCU's Wonder Woman in 2016's Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. It was followed by her solo outing in 2017's Wonder Woman. She continued to garner appreciation for her role across several DCU films before the universe came to an abrupt end with James Gunn and Peter Safran's takeover. It cannot be denied that the actress who would replace Gal Gadot has to put in a lot of effort. There were several names in the mix before the fans claimed after watching Furiosa that Charlie Fraser could be the best fit for the role. Charlie Fraser has given a commendable performance as Anya Taylor-Joy's Furiosa's Mother Mary in the George Miller directorial. Although it was only her second film, the fans think she has both the capability and looks to perfectly fit in the role of the Princess of Themyscira. The Australian actress has enjoyed a celebrated modeling career and has also been featured on Vogue Australia's cover. Many fans have taken over the internet to even claim that she looks like the Aussie version of Gal Gadot. Numerous fans believe that Zack Snyder had an incredible vision for the DCEU. Although it did not succeed, the fans never stopped to praise his visual style and the casting. 
A fan recently claimed that Charlie Fraser also looked as if she came out of a Zack Snyder film. Many others joined in the discussion and agreed that it could be a memorable casting if it happened. DC fans want Charlie Fraser to succeed Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Fans are assured Isa Gonzalez can fill Gal Gadot's shoes in the new DCU. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more video. With Gal Gadot no longer returning to play Wonder Woman following DC's regime change, it remains to be seen who will James Gunn look up to fill her boots in the new DCU. And with no solo Wonder Woman movie in sight, as of now, it can't be said for certain when the demigoddess will appear, but this hasn't stopped fans from speculating about potential actors to play Diana. Not unfamiliar with working in superhero stuff before, Bloodshot star Isa Gonzalez has previously teased fans about her love for the Princess of Themyscira. And following her recent comment under James Gunn's post, many are led to believe she might be the one to replace Gadot in the iconic role. Isa Gonzalez has been a popular choice among DC fans to helm Wonder Woman, as apart from looking the part, her acting chops also strengthen her case. And considering she previously commented this image is the one on James Gunn's post during Wonder Woman Day, many were left wondering if she was actively campaigning for the role. Furthermore, recently the Baby Driver star wished the cast of Superman, Legacy Good Luck in Gunn's new post, which has further led many to speculate that Gonzalez might be gearing up for DCU's Wonder Woman. Keeping in mind that superheroes are already established in the new universe, it would not be far-fetched to assume Wonder Woman might already exist in the DCU. And if that ends up being the case, fans can be hopeful to witness the new trinity sooner than later, once the new universe kickstarts. The Arrowverse has done a commendable job over the years in connecting the widely spanned DC television shows. Even though people can have differing opinions on it, the Arrowverse is appreciated for its commendable approach in connecting the television series and designing a uniform universe comprising the CW shows. Although it has ended now, if the Arrowverse is merged with James Gunn's DCU, not only many superheroes will get to shine in the main timeline, but it will also expand the universe more productively and garner a huge fan base for the shows. DC has a reputation for creating some of the most appreciated storylines in the animated DCAU and Camu. James Gunn excited the fans when he announced Creature Commandos, which will be connected to the main live-action universe and will be portrayed by the same actors who will voice them. Given that DC is already well-reputed for its animated works, this sector should be well-focused to present some incredible stories that might seem misfit or too difficult to be implemented for live-action. One of the major criticisms faced by the MCU is its lack of mature content. But DC is already known for being gritty, and if these stories are presented in a fearless R-rated tone by the studio, then it will get them a major upper hand. Moreover, James Gunn is already known for being crazy with his projects. Given his track record, Gunn is more likely to handle this department well. As the MCU is also leaping to R rating with their Deadpool 3, they are yet to go a long way. Lack of creative freedom for the directors not only caused the old DCU to fall, but many studios even marvel to face consequences. A director's vision is a major thing in a project, and if with limitations, it is difficult to fully portray the intended result. As much as James